In this video, I'm gonna show you the best, I promise, the best way to make vertical split screen videos in Premiere Pro. It's the best around. All right, so once Premiere is open, just create a new project and name it. So I'm gonna call mine vertical split. Make sure it's in the proper folder that you want. So click here and go choose location. I'm gonna skip all this new stuff. I like to import stuff the old way and I'm gonna turn all these things off and click create. Just so you know, I'm editing in the vertical workspace. If you wanna match my look, then just go here to this button, click on it and select vertical. And the first thing we're gonna do is import our media. So I'm gonna double click and I'm gonna find the clips that I want. So I'm gonna get a fall one, a spring one, a summer one, and a winter clip, and then just open them. So those are my four clips. To create a sequence, I'm just gonna click and drag any one of them, it doesn't matter. Drag it down into your sequence, and then I'm gonna highlight this and delete the clip out of there. As you can see, that's a horizontal sequence, which we don't want. Either way, even if it looks like it's a good vertical sequence, I would suggest going up here to sequence, down to sequence settings, and we're gonna mess with a few things here. If most or all of your clips are the same frame rate, then make sure your time base matches those. So mine's mostly 29.97, so I'm gonna select that. If yours is mostly something else, like let's say 24 frames per second, then select that. If it's a mix, pick which number appears the most, or be safe by picking just the lowest one, which is usually 24 frames per second right there. Okay, but this is the important part. We're gonna switch this to 1080 by 19, 20 if you want a 1080 vertical sequence or in my case I want a 2160 by 3840 a 4k vertical sequence make sure this working color space is rec 709 then just head down to the bottom and click ok and you'll see that I'll switch over to a vertical sequence now we're just going to import our clips and stack them on top of each other so I'm gonna go in order. Oh, and mine is still named spring clip because that's the one that I dragged in to make the sequence. So I'm gonna change that to just main so I know that's my sequence. And now I'm gonna drag in the clips in order. So summer is gonna be my top one. So I'm gonna drag that to the very top. If this thing comes up, make sure to go keep existing settings so that it stays as this vertical sequence that we just made. I'm gonna slide this all the way to the left here and expand it out, okay? Next, after summer, is fall. So I'm gonna put that one in, then winter, and then spring. So just pick the order that you want and drag them in. Now, if you notice, summer is smaller. So all of these are stacked. I can click this eyeball to see fall behind it. Winter is a good size. And spring, it seems like it's nothing, but it just kind of fades in. So I'm gonna chop the start and bring that over. So all the rest of them are good to go, but Either way, whether you have zero clips or all your clips that are the wrong size, I would suggest just highlighting them all, right click, and going to here to set to frame size. Click on that. That's gonna make sure all of them are from side to side within your sequence. So now that we're done our setup, watch how easy it is to create this split screen. So what you're gonna do is click on each one, right click on them and go up to nest, and just name them the same as what they are. And they'll turn green like this as a nest. So I'm gonna right click, go to nest, name this one fall, right click, go to nest, we got winter, and right click, go to nest, and spring. Okay, so once they're all nested, you can double click on any one of them. So if I double click on summer, it'll open up its own little sequence here that has the original clip housed within it. The reason why that's important is because when we exit this now, the nested clip is now seen by Premiere as a full vertical sequence of 2160 by 3840 or 1080 by 1920, depending on which one you picked. So now when we apply effects to it, that's how Premiere is going to see it. So speaking of effects, we're going to go up to our effects. If you don't see effects, go to window and down to effects, type in trans form and we're going to drag two onto all of our clips so make sure to highlight all of them so click in the gray select all of them we're going to drag this transform clip in first the one that's in distort so click drag that on and then go down to crop click drag that on now when we click on summer 
we can go to our effect controls right here. Again, if you don't see effect controls, go to window down to effect controls. And we're going to scroll down the side here all the way to crop. And we're basically going to make four 25% sections in here because I have four clips. So 100% divided by four is 25, 25, 25, 25. If you had five clips, then just go 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. If you had two clips, for example, go 50, 50. Okay. So for cropping this top one, we're just going to crop off 75% of the bottom. And then, and you can see it disappears. And then just go up to transform where it says position. Click on the right side one, the 1920 side here, or yours might be something different. Click, slide left, and you're going to see the clip start to show up. So click and slide again. It might stop on you. Click and slide. Okay, so that's how you'd position it. And you can see you can move it around within there as much as you want to fit it in there. And it's not going to bleed over past that 25% area. If you want, you can also scale it up. So maybe that's too small. You want to go in here and see as I scale it, it's going to stay within that zone. So I can scale it up and then reposition it, place it wherever you want. And that one's good to go. Next, fall. Same thing. Head down here. Go to crop. This time it's 25% off the top and 50% off the bottom. They'll always add up to 75%. So I'm going to go back up here to transform. I'm going to click on the right side here of position, click, slide left, move it into place, scale it up a little bit if I want, and move it where I want, and we're good to go. Winter, same thing, but this is the, going to be the opposite of fall. So we're going to crop now 50% off the top and 25% off the bottom. Scroll back up, put it into place. So I'll slide to the right this time to move it down. Again, I'll maybe scale it up just a little bit. Head down to spring. This is the opposite of summer, opposite of the top one. So we're going to crop now 75% off the top. And then again, just head back to transform, move it into place, click and slide to the right, scale it if you want, do whatever you want to get it where you like it. And there you go. That's the basics. So if we push play, that's all four of them playing together. Easy peasy. Now, if you want lines across, also very easy. Just go to this little rectangle tool within your tools here. Click on it. And it doesn't matter how wide you go. We're just worried about the thickness. Don't worry about the color yet either. So I want my lines to be kind of like that. Once your line is made, just go to your essential graphics. Once again, if you don't see it, go to window and down to essential graphics. And then just head down here until you see appearance, fill. And this is going to be the color. So I'm going to click on that and just select black for mine then head back up to the top here. And we're going to start naming these. So I'm this shape one, I'm going to call this top line. And then I'm going to right click on it and duplicate it and then right click on it and duplicate it again. Now this middle one, I'm just going to name it middle line. And this one will obviously be bottom line. Okay, so to move these very easy middle line, just click on it and look for this align and transform here. Just look for this one right here, align center vertically, click on it, and it's going to put it dead center. For the bottom line, I would suggest using this one, align to the bottom. So click it, boom, it's going to send it way down here. Then just beside this little arrow thing, the second one over, this is the vertical movement, click, slide left again. You might have to slide and let go a few times to get it all the way up to there and just kind of line it up where you want it. Then right here, you can see this is the graphic that has all the lines in it. So make sure to extend it so it covers everything that you want the lines to be on. So I'm just going to go for the duration of my clips. Last but not least, what if you want to add more clips into your vertical split screen? So for example, this one now goes from this original summer clip. And as I scroll along, I get to this one and it changes to a new clip and then changes to a third clip right here. And you can see throughout all of it, they are changing along. Okay. So I'm going to delete these to be able to show you what I did. Okay. So those two are gone. Now all we have to do is bring in our new footage. So I'm going to bring in summer four and I have a summer two down here as well. Summer two. So that's this clip of the boat and this clip of the pier or dock. Remember, first thing you have to do when you bring new footage in, select it, right click, 
and then go set to frame size. That'll readjust it to be the proper size. And then we do the exact same thing we did before. So I'm gonna click on one, right click, nest. I'll call this one summer two. And then this one, right click, nest. And we'll go summer three and okay. So the only issue with these ones now is they need the same crop and transform. But instead of redoing it all, we already have one right here. So we can click on the original summer one or whatever is on the layer. So fall, winter, whichever one you're on, go to summer, then go into your effect controls, scroll down, click on transform, scroll down, hold control or command, click on crop. So now that they're both selected, then just go up to edit, copy, select the other two clips and go edit and paste and boom, it'll jump right into that spot for this one and this one. Then we can just place them how we want them, treat them as regular clips, cut them down and then to reposition them. So that if they're not positioned, same thing, go down to transform, slide it into place, go to the other one and slide it into place and you are good to go. To watch other videos like this one and learn more about editing vertical videos, make sure to check out one of the videos linked on the screen right now. It's the best around. Nothing's ever gonna keep it down. It's the best around.